Hi everyone! We've had some requests from new volunteers to create tutorials on how to use Zoom and Google Meet to work with students. In this video, we are going to cover how to use Zoom. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up for free by clicking on the button you see here at the top right called Sign Up, It's Free. Here you will follow the prompts to completely sign up for free to use Zoom. If you already have an account, like I do, you can sign in here. And you'll see that I already have some meetings set up. The first thing you'll want to do is complete your profile. Here you can add a photo to, of yourself, your name, you can add a title, your company name if you'd like to add that, your pronouns if you'd like, and then you can set some other information as well. Most importantly, your time zone and what time format you prefer to use. Zoom will automatically set a personal meeting ID for you. And there's um, some extra information down here that you won't really worry, have to worry about changing. After you complete your profile, you can schedule a new meeting by clicking on meetings there at the left and then schedule a meeting. First thing you'll do is type in your topic. I'm just going to put English session. You're welcome to add a description if you would like. Add your date and time according to your time zone. Choose the duration. If you have a basic plan with Zoom, you're now only allowed 40 minutes. So to get around this, you and your student can sign out at the 40 minute mark and then rejoin the using the same link you create here. Or you can keep your meetings in Zoom to 30 minutes each. And if that seems like too much trouble, you can also use Google Meet, which allows free hour long sessions. You'll want to choose your time zone here, which will automatically be filled in if you completed your profile. You can choose this to be a reoccurring meeting. If you already have a set day and time to meet with your buddy each week, and then this will be set up automatically for you for the foreseeable future. Um, you can require that your student use a passcode, passcode to join the meeting, or they can just join by uh, the link that you provide them and then they'll be in the waiting room and you'll have to admit them into the video chat session. Here you can set your videos to automatically come on when you join the video chat session or you can automatically turn them on after both parties join. That is up to you. And here you can leave the audio setting at both. This allows someone to either use their computer audio or to dial in on their phone if they're having internet connection issues. And then you will just save. And you will see that your meeting is set up here in Zoom. And here is your invite link. You wanna be sure to send this to your student by hitting copy invitation, copy meeting invitation, that automatically copies that information to your clipboard, and then you can paste that into an email or in um, a messaging app to send to your student, whichever way you're communicating with your student is the best way to send that to them. Now when it's time to start this meeting, you will come back to your meetings you will see that you have your, your meeting set up here, and you can click Start. 
and then you click on launch meeting and I join for my browser okay so as you can see we have started this meeting when your student is in the waiting room you will have a box that will pop up here to let you know that your student is student is in the waiting room you'll just click on admit and they will join you in this session so a few things to go over this is your mute button this is how you mute and unmute yourself you can also turn off your video here turn your video back on this is important if you are having internet connection issues sometimes uh, running the video can really drain that connection so if you turn off your video sometimes the sound quality improves this lets you know who's joining you so if you had your student in the session you clicked on this their name would be here as well and you can uh, mute people here stop their video but you won't have to do that with your student most likely here you can have some options for sharing screens the first option is just going to allow you to share your screen because you are the host if you would like your student to be able to share their screen you can click on multiple participants can share simultaneously to share your screen you will click on this green arrow here and then this gives you options on how you want to share your screen so you can either choose a tab you want to share a window you'd like to share or the entire screen you click on your choice and then click share you'll see that this pops up letting you know that you are sharing your screen at this time when you're finished sharing your screen you can stop share Please note that sometimes when you share your screen, uh, especially if you're sharing a PowerPoint presentation, Zoom will automatically mute your mic. So be sure to unmute yourself after you share your screen if you're sharing a PowerPoint presentation. There's also a chat function here. So if you'd like to type in messages to your student, for instance, if you need to spell out a word for them, or send links to something you can send it here in the chat and when you're done you can close your chat by going to this drop down box clicking on close you also have some little reactions you can use here if you want to applaud your student while they're talking celebrate raise your hand if you have a question You can change some of your settings here. Most commonly um, used in this section is the background. You can blur your background here. You can also choose different backgrounds. Please note that if you don't have a strong internet connection, this can sometimes slow it down. So keep that in mind if you're having issues. You can also upload your own photos here if you wanted to do so to have in, as your background and you can mirror your image here as well and you can also stop incoming videos here if you need to do that but that is very rarely used with that said I think we have covered everything in Zoom if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at Thank you for joining us.